جی بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو ول بی ویری فائن اینڈ فنٹاسٹک آئی ایم محمد زبیر شاہد اینڈ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈلیور مائی فرسٹ لیکچر آف گریک لٹریچر ٹوڈے یو نو ویری ویل ان سیکنڈ سمیکسٹر گریک لٹریچر از ویری امپورٹنٹ سبجیکٹ اینڈ ویری ایزی ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ اف یو آر انڈرسٹینڈنگ الاٹ اف یو ول کنسنٹریٹ اے لٹل بٹ دین یو کین انڈرسٹینڈ ویل اوکے فرسٹلی آئی وانٹ ٹو انٹروڈیوس یو گریک لٹریچر واٹ از گریک لٹریچر گریک لٹریچر گریک لٹریچر گریک میتھولوجی از دا بیسکس آف گریک لٹریچر دس از اے سسٹم آف گاڈز اینڈ گوڈیسز ان اکارڈنس ود دا گریک ارا سو گریک میتھولوجی از اے باڈی آف میتھس ٹولڈ بائی اینشنٹ گریکس and genre of ancient greek folklore ancient greek folklore mean to say the people of greek era were using these kind of myths so that we can say this is greek literature the story is concerned the origin and the nature of the deities deities in urdu we can say devata devatao ko bolte hain of the deities heroes and the mythological creatures mythological creatures mean to say the creatures who was who are depended on the myths of greeks okay they are about worship and ritual process or practices here are some gods and goddesses which i am going to discuss with you today especially uh, they are only 12 in number first is zeus in roman zeus in roman they called jupiter understand most powerful god of all zeus is the most powerful god of all the gods and goddesses zeus was king of olympus king of olympus as well as he was the god of sky and and all the sky creatures which are there living flying okay he was a god of all creatures which are living in the skies including the birds and each and every sort of thing like bird uh, like creatures his temper affected the weather his temper affected the weather he threw thunderbolts when he was angry okay here while we see that uh, some while when we got angry we do something wrong with the others okay by the cause of them we are angry and we show our uh, reaction to them in the same way while this uh, god zeus got angry his temper affected the weather he threw thunderbolts okay while he got angry his symbol was thunderbolt okay gods and goddesses has a specific have a specific symbols in greek mythology hera the second one is hera in uh, roman it named as juno hera was the goddess of marriage and queen of olympus hera was a goddess of marriage even that uh, you know uh, greeks have all the gods and goddesses of each and every work for each and every uh, reason for oceans for uh, crops for harvesting uh, for battles warships for every uh, doings they have specific gods in the same way hera is a goddess of marriage and queen of olympus marriage while someone want to marry wants to marry someone okay they worship hera and hera fulfill their uh, thinking fulfill their wishes and uh, marriage would be able for them she was zeus's wife and sister here is a wondering situation that uh, at the same time she was zeus's wife and sister also 
many myths tell how she sought revenge when zeus betrayed her with his lovers this zeus firstly this zeus betrayed her wife hera and loves so many other goddesses in the same way while he betrays her she sought revenge okay her symbol is peacock and cow her symbol was peacock and cow next number 3 poseidon poseidon in roman they say neptune he was god of sea god of sea god of oceans god of waters you can say in your own words he was most powerful and except his brother zeus he was the brother of zeus poseidon was a brother of zeus but uh, except zeus he was a most powerful god of all his symbol was horse and pronged fox pronged fox you know uh, three uh, फॉक यू नो फॉक होता है वो चमच की मानत जिसे कहते हैं फॉक तो वो फॉक जो है और हॉर्स दीज आर सिंबल्स ऑफ पॉजिडन हैज प्लूटो हैज वॉज द किंग ऑफ डेड ये मुर्दों का बादशाह है किंग ऑफ डेड हैज वॉज द किंग ऑफ डेड ही लिवड इन अंडर वर्ल्ड ही लिवड इन द अंडर वर्ल्ड द हैवीली गार्डेड लैंड where he rolled over dead theek hai aise sar zameen ka ye badshah hai ye king hai ye god hai jo sar zameen jo hai muhafizon se ghiri hui hai aur murdon ka ye badshah hai mare hue logon ka us sar zameen ke aur wo muhafiz hain uske kafi zyada ye un par hukumat karta hai next number 5 aphrodite aphrodite in roman they say venus she was a goddess of love and beauty and protector of sailors she was a goddess of love and beauty love and beauty means uh, we verily you can say understand what about love and beauty and protector of sailors sailors means mala जो कश्तियाँ सेलिंग करते हैं और खूबसूरती और जो मोहब्बत है उसका कि ये देवी है उसकी गॉडेस है ये एफ्रोडाइट नेक्स्ट शी मे हैव राइजन फ्रॉम द सी ऑन अ शेल ये समंदर में से किसी भी वक्त शेल पर नमोदार हो सकती है शेल पे घूमके पे निकल सकती है सिंबल्स आर tree and dove symbols are tree and dove next apollo apollo was a god of music and healing god of music and healing while someone uh, wants to be enjoyed himself uh, for music they pray to apollo and apollo uh, played music then they can enjoy he was an orker also and hunt with a bow he was an archer teerbaaz and hunt with a bow aur bow jo hoti hain shaakhein jo hoti hain unke sath ye shikar karta tha he was son of zeus and titan leto ye zeus ka beta hai aur titan leto ka zeus aur titan leto ka beta hai ye apollo his symbol are crow and the dolphin dolphin and the crow are his symbols next aries aries ko roman mein mars kehte hain mars he was a god of war god of war jang ka devta hai he was both cruel and coward at a time it's a wandering thing that uh, someone having a dual qualities at the same time he was both cruel and coward at a time 
he was son of Zeus and Hera. He was the son of Zeus and Hera. This Hera and this Zeus. First and second number. He was son of Zeus and Hera. His symbols are vulture and the dog. His symbols are the vulture and the dog. Next, Artemis. Artemis in Roman they called it Diana. Artemis, she was a goddess of hunt and protector of woman, woman during childbirth. Jab बच्चे की पैदाइश के दौरान ये खवातीन की मुहाफिज है और शिकार की देवी है ये हंट की गॉड इज ऑफ हंट है शी हंटेड विद सिल्वर एरोज ये चांदी के तीरों के साथ शिकार करती थी शी हंटेड विद सिल्वर एरोज एंड लवड वाइल्ड एनिमल्स और जंगली जानवरों से ये मोहब्बत करती थी सिंबल्स आर सिप्रेस एंड डीर इसके जो अलामत हैं इसकी जो निशानी है वो सरू का पौधा है सिप्रस ट्री और हिरन है नेक्स्ट अथिना माइनरोव इसको बोलते हैं रोमन में अथिना शी वॉज अ गॉड इज ऑफ विजडम दानश मंदी की देवी शी वॉज अ गॉड इज ऑफ विजडम शी इज स्किल्ड इन आर्ट ऑफ वार एंड हेल्प्ड हीरोज देर आर सो मैनी हीरोज इन a uh, greek era in in greek dramas uh, some of them are uh, very famous like oedipus as well as uh, odysseus this goddess helped heroes as well as she was skilled in art of war she can fought war also his symbols are uh, the all and the olive tree all ullu and olive tree zaitun ka darakht next hephaestus vulcan isko roman mein kehte hain hephaestus ko he was the god of fire and furnace fire and furnace mean to say aag aur aag wali bhatti furnace jisme aisi mill wagaira jisme lohe ko garam karke piglaya jata hai usko furnace bolte hain jisse armor या वेपन्स वगैरह तैयार किए जाते थे ये उसका गॉड गॉड था ही मेड आर्मर एंड वेपन्स फॉर गॉड्स बट लवड पीस ही मेड दिस इज अ वेंडरिंग सिचुएशन दैट ही लवड पीस बट मेड वेपन्स फॉर द गॉड्स एंड गॉडेस ओके सेल देम एज द करंट सिचुएशन सम वन इज सेलिंग देयर वेपन्स टू अदर्स but teaching them uh, the path of peace okay in the same way he made armor and weapons for gods but loved peace his symbol is fog fog mean furnace hestia west vesta hestia isko vesta kehte hain roman mein she was goddess of hearth हर्थ बोलते हैं आग वाले चूल्हे को जिस पे घर में खाना पकाया जाता है हर्थ की गॉडेस थी वे शी वॉज मोस्ट जेंटल ऑफ गॉड्स ये सारे गॉड्स जो हैं उनमें ज्यादा जेंटल थी शरीफ गॉडेस है देवी है एंड डज नॉट रोल इन मैनी मिथ्स और काफी जो मिथ्स हैं ग्रीक में उनमें इसका कोई किरदार नहीं है हर सिंबल वॉज फायर इसका जो सिंबल है इसकी जो अलामत है वो आग है है ये जेंटल उन्होंने कहा है मगर इसका सिंबल आग है ओके आगे है जी डेमेटर कोर्स इसे रोमन में कहते हैं डेमेटर को शी वॉज अ गॉडेस ऑफ हार्वेस्ट शी वॉज अ गॉडेस ऑफ हार्वेस्ट ये जो फसलें हैं हम काश्तकारी करते हैं ये काश्तकारी की खेती की गॉडेस थी और इसकी जो है ऑर्डर्स उससे फसलों की ग्रोथ होती या कमी होती तो इसके ऑर्डर से हो, होती थी उनके मुताबिक ग्रीक मैथोलॉजी के मुताबिक हर सिंबल वाज वीट और इसका जो सिंबल था अलामत थी वो थी गंदुम ओके दिस वाज और आल गॉड्स एंड गोडेसेस इन ग्रीक मैथोलॉजी विच आई डिस्कस्ड विद यू टुडे 
and uh, in next lecture i will discuss with you edipus rex a very good play a very good play of sophocles inshallah and uh, again this is all it is must for you to learn it with uh, uh, fully concentrated way god bless you allah hafiz